Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to configure AWS CLI profile in Amazon Cloud. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AWS CLI and their use cases. So AWS CLI is a command line tool which is used to interact with AWS services. But sometimes we have multiple accounts for multiple purpose. Uh, suppose I'm working with a company and a company have a different account for different purpose like uh, one account for the production and one account for testing and one account for management and so on. So the point is how, how can we actually find out which services are running on which particular account rather than log in via web console because web console is just for the people who don't have programmatic access. So in this case we will create, pro, uh, create customized profile for the particular person account uh, and uh, switch from one profile to the another profile easily and grab the desired result okay so let's get started and see how can we switch between these profile so guys this is my aws web console and uh, we have to follow few steps to work with this type of scenario and currently i am in north Virginia region that is us east one okay so i started with to make two different user in the same account even you can create these user in the different account also but in my case i use same aws account for the different user so i just search uh, iam in my aws search bar here it is so i click on iam and go with the user option here it is so just click on add user to make first user i click on add give the username so in my case i am giving i am giving to bob it could be anyone could be anything and in aws access type i go with programmative access okay so next on the permission so go with the permission setting and click on the add existing policy so I will give full S3 access to this account. So here I search S3 full access. Here it is. Select this one. Go to next, next and create user. Great. Now uh, user is successfully created and uh, it, I got uh, some security credentials, access key and the secret key. So I just copy uh, these key uh, both keys in my notepad file for for the for future uses uh, you can also download these credential and not to share with anyone okay so i show it first so here it is my access key so i just right click copy and open a notepad username is bob okay so i paste it first and then this is the secret access key I copy and paste it here great now just close it so now move to the next step uh, which is make a Linux EC2 instances for AWS CLI management so I search EC2 in search bar AWS search bar here it is I open a new tab and quickly launch a new instances okay uh, which is used for the manage AWS CLI profile so let's check okay running instances so currently uh, I don't have any running instances in this account so I click on the launch instances and try to inst uh, launch a new instance okay I go with Amazon Linux this is for free trial and uh, I go with two macro and then go with the default VPN setting Go with default storage, assign a nice tag name. In my case, I said Linux server, could be anything. Configure security group, go with create new security group, or you can, if you have an existing security group, you can go with that. Review and launch, launch. Now I go with my existing key pair that is uh, new. Okay, let me check one more time if it's available or not. So here is my download file. Okay, here's this test file. Okay, so I'm going to create a new test pair. So this time I say test one. Download the key pair. If you have existing one, you can go with, otherwise you can create new and launch instances. Okay. Creating security group. 
okay it's created successfully okay so click on the view instances uh, now I have successfully create EC2 instances it will take some time to up and run and uh, till we have to wait for two or three minutes so this is my Linux server name this is instance ID the micro t2 micro availability zone is US East 1 and it's initializing right now uh, here's the IPv4 the IPv4 public IP address and the key name whatever the key name we have assigned it is new test one okay so just wait for one or two minutes less the status up okay now it is so it is in running condition so time to connect with my ec2 so i just click on the connect copy the entire path from there just copy go to the download location where i have downloaded my key okay here it is open the git bash utility from here so I just make it large for you and just simply paste. Okay, might be it's configured. Ask for confirmation, say yes. Okay, now I'm successfully login and uh, login with root privilege. So for this, I go with sudo i. Okay, let's see the OS release version first. So it is Amazon Linux version 2. Great. Now we have completed successfully this step. Move to the next step, which is configure AWS profile. So for configuring AWS CLI profile, I run the command AWS configure and uh, give the profile name. So hyphen hyphen profile and uh, from my profile name i go with production okay so in my case uh, my first profile name is production you can go with anyone okay it asks for access key so give the access key and secret key so i open my notepad file just copy the access key paste now secret key Again, copy from here, copy the entire path. Just copy, paste. Okay, now it asks for default reason name. So, in my case, I'm using uh, US East 1, US East 1. And uh, you can change it as per your need and default output format will leave default one. Okay, so now I can use this profile in the different ways. So let's see, I want to list the S3 bucket from my S3 because I have given the user permission only for S3 services. So now I can run the command AWS S3 LS. And when I press enter, let's see what happened. So I press enter, let's see, okay. Um, in, uh, uh, in this command, I didn't mention any profile name. So I will get an error to locate credential because I didn't specify which profile I want to use because default profile is empty. So that's why I get this error. Now I run again the same command with the profile option and see what happened. So this time I say AWS S3 LS hyphen hyphen profile and the profile name is production. Let's see. Here it is. So we have successful, we have, uh, I got the result and we can see only one S3 bucket, which is name is Elastic Beanstack. Okay, so we have again completed this step successfully. Now move to the next one, which is set up another account profile. So quickly I'm going to make one more user and uh, give some different name. So again, I go back my IEM console, click on the add user. And this time I give the again uh, username is Suze and go with the programmative access, go with the permission, attach existing policy, and uh, and this time I wanna give EC2 full access to this account. So I say EC2 full access, EC2 full access, here it is. Select this one, go to the next, next, and create user. So like earlier one, I got again access key and the secret key. So I just copy and paste one more time in my notepad for uh, Suze user. Okay, so let me show first. Okay, 
so just copy again I open my notepad file and this time suze paste and uh, secret access key so just copy and paste okay so now again I have to go back my Linux console and configure the profile for this user so I open my Linux terminal here it is and again I run the command AWS configure profile and this time I want to give some different name and uh, I want to give say for testing so this time I use the profile name is testing so once I press enter again we have to give the access key and the secret key so just copy this one paste okay access key so just select the entire key copy paste and reason us east one and default output will be default great so this time i use this profile name testing and i have successfully configured another profile which is known as the testing so now move to the next and the final step which is grab the result from the different profile so if i go with aws ec2 describe instances so des describe instances and hyphen hyphen profile which profile i'm talking about testing remember i give testing profile ec2 full access so let's see what happened when i press enter okay i got the result it works and show me the instance complete detail now see what happened if i run the same command with the production profile so if i go with and replace testing with profile with the uh, production see what happened when i press enter okay an error occurred unauthorized operation see i got the error unauthorized operation this is because production profile doesn't have the permission to access the ec2 instances and uh, in the same way if i go with the testing profile for the s3 access i got the same error so uh, like earlier we have command aws s3 ls profile this time i change to the testing i got the again error okay so this is how we can set up aws profile for the different user and switch between them and grab the desired result now we have a few more information related to this setup the first point is uh, where is this information stored in our system so we have a directory in the home location uh, if i go with ls minus a you find out dot aws look at that so we have a directory in the home location called dot aws and uh, under dot aws we have a file credential so if i go with cat and dot uh, aws credentials when i press enter let's see so here we have a access key and the secret key id of the production and testing profile and now we have one more file that is aws under dot aws and uh, we have a uh, file name is config see when I press enter this file store your reason information related to the profile what we have configured so guys this is how we can work with the different AWS profile in Amazon cloud okay so finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things and soon I will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, guys uh, if you like this video please do not forget to share like and subscribe my channel if uh, if you are interested in linux online classes for red hat linux and aws and many more please contact us through the given links which is mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye